Yeah. Okay, see, Condi are a part of the Congo culture. Although burned by the Belgians who once colonized their land. And if you're wondering what the heck are QC Condi, I know. QC Condi are idols of the Dem Rep of the Congo. These statues were usually made of wood and other materials. Metal nails, cloth, mirrors, beads, and other stuff besides cereal. The idols are also vessels for containing spiritual forces that are believed to have the power to heal, protect, and punish. Dem Rep of the Congo. Vessels for power. Kisi Kanti power figure. Kisi Kanti power figure. Grant me the power, Ganga, cause you're the ritual specialist. Various sculptures made you an idol, the Kisi Kandi. And it's only 1864 to the 19th century. Power from the gods may be the final frontier, but it's stored in a wooden idol. And Mr. Loggins, can you hear this song becoming viral? Anyways, the point of the idols is for religious beliefs. This video is jam-packed with Congo information. It's the only thing keeping you in your seat is returning from vacation. Ganga Priest. 1864 Kisi Kanti power figure Dem Rep of the Congo figure Kisi Kanti power figure Dem Rep of the Congo figure Time for the very last facts I can squeeze into this presentation. The Kisi Kandi can act as a verbal proclamation, resolving verbal disputes or lawsuits called the Mambu. A Kisi Kandi can also act as an Avenger. Drive a nail into this doll and activate its splendor. Candy means hunter. Verbal dispute. Kisi Kanti power figure. Kisi Kanti power figure. Kisi Kanti power figure. Kisi Kanji power figure.
Alright, remember to subscribe and like, hit a remember like. Remember to subscribe and like. Hit the sub. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, we do. Hit the subscribe, hit the sub, and the like for more content. Feel free to comment down below.